Good morning, praise the Lord. Today, December 24th, uh, we'll remember the good tidings of great joy. Tomorrow being Christmas, uh, we should remember all the Christmas messages. No? Uh, Luke 2.10 says, I bring you good tidings of great joy. These tidings were brought by the angels. Um, if you read uh, Luke, you'll understand this. When you read the whole passage from 8 to 14 verses in Luke 2, you'll know that this is a joyful good news announced by the angel to the shepherds who are keeping a watch over their flock by night. The angel told them that a Savior, who is Christ the Lord, was born that day in the city of David, Bethlehem. The Savior is born. We are also born. What's the difference? The Savior was born to die for us, but we are born for ourselves only. He is the incarnation of God who came onto this earth with flesh and blood. He was completely divine and completely human. There are three main items in this gospel, which the angels told. Good news. They announced great joy, salvation and peace. We'll see the great truths in this message. First is, it's a good news of great joy. This news is of great joy because this Jesus, who is the Savior, Christ anointed, who was the completely divine and human, came to make us divine. He left his uh, heavenly abode to come here so that he can take us along with him to his heavenly abode. What a nice news, no? It's a news of joy. Second is, it's a good news of truth. When we know the truth and understand it fully, we'll be delivered from all our anxieties. The truth shall make you free. John 8, 32. Jesus himself says this. You have to experience this truth personally in your life and then only you'll be liberated. Third is, it's a good news of hope. In uh, uh, Colossians 1, 23, Paul says that we should continue in the faith, grounded and steadfast, and not be moved away from the hope of the gospel. This hope will never disappoint us. Uh, it's written in Rome, uh, Romans 5, 5. Hope of great future blessings will not turn out to be false because the Holy Spirit gives lavish evidence in our hearts of God's love to us. In this Christmas season, we have to remember that Jesus Christ came to, onto this earth to give us joy. And the angels brought tide, and good tidings of great joy. Let's pray. Lord, thank you for giving, giving us such great happiness through your birth. Please help us to realize the great sacrifice that you, you did for us. In Jesus Christ. Precious name I ask. Amen. Amen. God bless you.